Hey guys, welcome to Eats and Nails and Beauty. In this video, I'm just going to do a very quick, simple gel manicure. As you can see, I have a very old chipped nail polish. Um, I actually was doing a new nail polish color and I went ahead and put this over two weeks ago and I didn't even put a base coat and it was just to test the color. And as you can see, it's become chipped and I just needed to get this off and do a more permanent color something that would also protect my nails and make them a little bit stronger so that they wouldn't break as easily and as you can see here I'm struggling to remove the nail polish because it's full of beautiful iridescent glitter if I do say so myself but as you can see it's very hard because I did not wear a base coat like I said I was just testing the color but it's always a very good idea it's highly suggested to wear a base coat underneath any nail polish especially the ones that have glitter because it makes the removal process a lot easier and it'll prevent from staining your nails so the next step after removing the polish is just like you would do with a regular acrylic is to push back the cuticle remove the dry cuticle or the dry skin on the nail and i do that by softly using the scraper And then with the soft file, I go ahead and prepare my nail for it to better absorb the gel. So I lightly buff it. And I also wanted to change the shape of my natural nail. As you can see, I have kind of a round ovalish shape. So I wanted a more square look. And I went ahead and did that with the file. As you can see, I like to stand my file vertical to my nail because it'll help me give a more even and a, uh, a more sharper square look that I like. Once I'm done with that, I make sure to remove all the dust away from every single nail. I use a dust brush and then I also spray some alcohol and clean it with a lint-free towel or a lint-free wipe. And I do this about two, two to three times. And I also dehydrated, I didn't show that step, but I dehydrated my natural nail using a mixture of alcohol and acetone. And then after I do that, I go ahead and apply my nail primer. In this case, I'm using the IBD nail primer and I put it on the whole nail. Some people just like to put it on the tip or on the free edge. I like to put it on the whole nail, making sure I also cap the end of the nail. And then after that, I immediately apply a very thin coat of the clear base uh, gel base. And I do want to emphasize when doing gels, it's very important to do thin coats. That way the it'll the the gel will cure properly and then what you see me do is if I do get any gel around on the skin I remove it and um, I used the scraper here but then I also went back but I did it off of camera and used a thin brush soaked in alcohol and once I do the thin coat of clear base gel I went ahead and cured it in my LED or not LED my UV lamp for about two minutes so after they're out and cured after the two minutes i'm going to use this gel polish called man eater by madame glam and i'm going to leave the tacky layer do not remove the tacky layer after i've cured the base and just do a head go ahead sorry and do thin coats once again of the polish and it took two full coats to get the full coverage that I wanted and it's better to do several thin coats instead of just doing one thick coat otherwise your gel will not cure and it's gonna start curling up or lifting which we don't we don't want that's why I do thin coats and it's kind of hard that's why you I suggest you roll not shake roll your uh, gel polish bottle for a little bit and then make sure when you pick up that brush with the gel it's um, 
thin, not too thick because gel polish has a different consistency than regular nail polish. Therefore, if you apply the brush with uh, too much product, too much gel, then it's not going to cure properly. And then here you see me after I have cured the nails for two minutes again, you see me apply a thin coat of the gel top coat. Um, I didn't show how before curing them, after I applied the color before curing them, I also went ahead with a nail brush, a very thin nail brush dipped in alcohol and I cleaned around the, the skin where I had a lot of uh, polish gel polish on there so that when I cured it in the lamp it wouldn't um, it wouldn't adhere and I, I'll be honest I wasn't too careful with that step I was really in a hurry I was in a rush and I, I didn't pay as much attention as I should have so just as a tip I would do that here's the finished product um, I've applied some lotion and some cuticle oil and I am done Here's the look. These are the color changing ones in the cold. They are that deep, beautiful purple color. And when it's at a higher temperature, it turns into this nice mauvey pink color. It's very beautiful, has some light shimmers. I hope you guys liked it. And if you did, please thumbs up, comment, share, and subscribe if you have not done so. And stay tuned to the next video where I probably will do another gel, but who knows, we'll see. Thanks for watching.